couple of weeks, we've been working on one point perspective and today I'm gonna to show you two point perspective. Okay, another vanishing point is what we're gonna use. So you need a straight edge, a pencil, and a piece of paper. Any kind of paper will do. All right, let's get started. Okay, so for two point perspective, the first step is to draw a horizon line. Now, you need to use a straight edge for this. Like I said before, if you don't have a ruler, use the edge of another piece of paper. Uh, use the edge of a pencil, um, the side of a notebook, a magazine, what even a box of some sort uh, would work really great. So first things first, draw your horizon line. And the horizon line is uh, the place where the ground, the land, meets the sky. So it's just a straight, uh, in our case, a straight line. Now on the end of each of those lines, I want you to put a dot one way over here on the left and one way over here on the right. With two point perspective, it's just like it sounds, there's going to be two points that everything vanishes to. Now, when you want to use two point perspective is when you're drawing, most of the time, when you're drawing a box or some sort of rectangular prism or cube that you want to see things from the corner. That's the part that will be closest to you. Um, of those objects. So I'm going to show you how to do it three ways. So you get to choose where you're going to put those and what you're going to do is you're going to draw three vertical lines. One that is on the horizon line, one that is below the horizon line, and one that is above the horizon line. Now those lines should be vertical which means they should be going straight up and down like the number one. And I'm gonna start with this one. Um, and what we're gonna do is we are going to connect uh, the top and the bottom of that line to each of the vanishing points. And it sounds daunting, and at first it's very confusing, but once you start erasing a few things, it'll start to make more sense. Remember, it's okay to turn your paper, and if you need to put a dot, on the bottom of the top just to remind you that you are connecting and I'm doing this really lightly at first to both sides of my paper and it does not look like a box right now but this is the first step to making your uh, box. So right now, if you use your imagination, you can see that the sides of our box, this is the corner, and the sides just kind of continue on and on forever. Well, that's not a very realistic uh, sort of thing to happen for a box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide how big I want this box to be, and I am going to draw another vertical line right between those two new lines on the left side and one on the right side. I've decided to trim mine down. Now you can go back and darken in these places. Um, and now we have to do some erasing. You have to be careful and make sure you're erasing the right things. We do not want to see the horizon line inside the box. It should stay only on the outside. So carefully erase that. And then what you're going to do is get rid of the lines going all the way to the vanishing point that are on the outside of your box. Keep the horizon line. So right now, this side already looks a lot better. And I'm going to do the same thing going right here. Remember, drawing lightly is going to save you a lot of trouble. You won't be able to see those uh, lines. All right, looks really good. I should have drawn my horizon line a little bit lighter than it would have erased better here. But this is just a practice, so I'm not too concerned about um, that right now. All right, so I'm going to make two more boxes, one below and one above. Now. The same rule applies, except work this box that I drew, you couldn't see the top of the box, you couldn't see down, or underneath the box, because it was the way it was placed on there. Now, these, you're gonna be able to see either the top or the bottom. Start off the same way, and if you may need to make a dot on the bottom, 
and the top, then do that. If the dots are confusing you, then don't um, add the dots. Remember, you're only going to draw it to the vanishing points. I'm going to draw it off really lightly. I'm going to be careful. It might actually go through if I'm not careful. Yep, I think it's going to touch that other box. I'm not going to be worried about that so much. Um, so you can see the corner here. This would be a great way to draw a fence, wouldn't it? If this were a house, you could almost imagine it. Now, just like before, I am going to shorten this box. So I'm going to draw a vertical line right between and right between. Okay. I'm going to erase. I don't have to worry about the horizon line. I'm going to erase the extra because the horizon line is not even dealing. I'm not even have to deal with that on this picture, on this box. But, and I'm going to darken these in so you can see those better now. Okay, but what's weird is it looks more like a folder or just part of a box because you're missing the top. So here's how you do the top, and this gets a little bit tricky. So if you need to pause this video or rewind and rewatch this part again, um, go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do from this corner right here, I'm going to connect to the other vanishing point on the other side of my paper. It's the opposite one. Last time we did this line, it went over here, so, but this time I'm going to go this way. And with this corner over here, I'm going to do the same. So I align up my ruler or my straight edge with the vanishing point way on the other side. And I could draw all the way to the vanishing point, but what's the point? You can already see the top of that box. So let me erase the, this little bit of extra that I have. Isn't that amazing? So now you can see the top of my box. It's going to kind of feel the same and when we do uh, the box that's floating in the air. We've got two that are on, on the ground, right? But we're going to make a floating one just for fun so you can see what that looks like. All right, so I'm going to draw from the top. I'm gonna draw really lightly again. And the bottom of that line. I'm gonna do the same going to the other vanishing point over here. You know what? I don't think I'm going to make mine go all the way because I doubt I'm going to have my box be that long. All right, so I have to decide how big I want my box. How about right here? Remember vertical lines. Notice everything is drawn with my straight edge. There's not anything that I draw uh, without the straight edge. All right, erase the extra. on both sides. I always like to dust off my paper in between. Now, to get, just review. So if, if you're drawing the bottom of the box and you're trying to find this line, no guessing. Don't just draw something in and say, oh, that's close enough. I want you to actually do it the right way. So make sure this, if you're on the left side of your box, now it's going to connect to the right vanishing point. So it goes opposite. Tricky business, but you can do it. I'm gonna just do part of it. I don't think it's gonna go all the way. So I'm gonna connect the right corner to the left vanishing point. It goes opposite when you're doing the top and the bottom of the box. All right, so. This is not, um, this one's probably going to be your easiest if you drew this um, just right and you don't have to worry about the top or the bottom. The two that are above or below the vanishing point where you have to draw the, the top or the bottom can be a bit tricky. But remember, everything, everything except for the vertical lines connects to the vanishing point. Um, draw lightly. Give this a try. This is just practice. Um, send me a picture on Seesaw. You don't have to put it on Arsonia. Just send it to me on Seesaw. 
Um, I may give you some tips and reminders in my response. Uh, I might do a little extra, so look for that. Um, we will get to do something else with Two Point Perspective a little bit more, um, but I thought we should just practice this um, today, just drawing boxes. Um, once you get the hang of it, it's actually, I think, a little bit easier than one point perspective because everything just goes to a vanishing point. You don't have to try to figure out which ones do and which ones don't. All right, so have fun, uh, practice this. Don't get frustrated. Just e even if you only get one box done, send me a picture. All right, see you next time. Bye.